Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to model a sliding door. This is going to be a bit complex but I have tried it so many times so I can deliver it as simple as possible to you. We are going to model this door to highest LOD, let's say 400 or 450 and let's just start. This is going to be a nested family. We're going to work on different shapes, different models in, in different categories. And at the end, we are going to import all of them to one family. So let's start with rail or support. Create a new family in generic model wall based. First, set your unit. Go to placement side and create some references. We need two reference here and one in this part another one in this part and in reference plan we also need one in here for our support okay go back to placement side and use dimension to make these two parts equal and also create another dimension and turn it into a parameter Let's call it support length. Okay. Create another dimension from this point to here. Select it and create a new parameter for it. Let's call it support height. And also create another one for this part, which is going to be our width, support width. And the one that we created in this part should be support thickness. Make sure that you are selecting this edge in reference plan, not this wall. Select it and turn it into support TH thickness. Now if you go to placement side, you can create a new extrusion with rectangle in exactly this part. Lock all of these lines and simply hit finish. Go to ref level and if you can't see it, go to ref level in sailing plan. Our extrusion is here. Now if you want to lock it with this line, you just need to use a line. First click on this part and then select this line here. Lock it and repeat it for this one again. Let's go to 3D view to see what we have here. Put it on fine and consistent color again and this is simply our support the only thing left about this support is its material so select it and click on this part create a new parameter for it and let's call it support let's also assign a very quick material for it and use a different color like this Let's move on to creating our rail. Go to placement side and then create tab. In here, select reference plan and click on this create new category here. Give it a name. Let's go with red and change its color to red. If you want, you can change its line pattern to anything you want, but I'm going to use this aligning line here. Hit OK. So create two reference lines in this part and in here. Make them equal with this dimension and create another dimension which we are going to turn it into new parameter. Let's call this rail length. Okay. Go to ref level and create another reference plan with red. In this part let's call it rail 1 create another dimension for this distance which we are going to turn it into a parameter and we will call it rail distance create a new sweep and set your sketch pass in this line and continue it on this part so we will have a U shape pass in here. Hit finish and go to its edit profile. Go to right view 
and just create a very simple rectangle like this select dimension and make these two parts equal and also make these two parts equal select this one and create a parameter for it let's call it rail thickness and also select this one and call it rail bits hit finish and finish again now if you want to move it to this part you need to just simply create another reference plan on red in here and put it exactly between these two lines like this and change its name to rail 2 okay now just select your shape and click on this edit work plan this one again and change it to rail number two if you look at it from 2d view you will have something like this select it and go to its family type in here you can just simply change all of these distances change rail thickness to let's say four and rail width to maybe four again and apply also if you want to check rail distance you can change it to let's say 10 all of them are working properly so the only thing left in this part is to assign a material for it so select it and create another parameter for it in here and let's call it rail now let's save this family as rail close inactive tabs and then create another family in generic model simply generic model in this part we are going to model our door so let's go to front view and just simply create a few reference plan in this part and in here we need another one in this part and let's go to ref level and create two other reference plan in this side and also in here while we are here use dimension to make these parts equal and also create another dimension for here and turn it into a parameter which is going to be our door thickness go to front view and make these two lines equal again create another dimension and call it bits now the only thing left is this height in here so create another dimension for it and turn it into a parameter now go to create and start a new extrusion select rectangle and do one exactly on here lock all of these lines with these reference plans and hit finish go back to ref level and drag it to this point lock it and do this for this part as well lock it select it again and create another parameter for its material let's call it door let's check if all of these parts are working put it on 2.1 okay door thickness to five centimeter and our width to one meter apply and okay another thing that we are going in this family is this holder thing that basically attach our door to a roller and we are going to model it in another family so first we are going to front view and in here we will create two other reference plan the different category for example okay change its color to white and also its line pattern to aligning line and create one in this part and another one in here I think white is not the best idea here let's just change its color before we continue now let's move this up to have enough space and use dimension to make their 
distance equal. Now we are going to create two other reference ones and we are going to make them equal with this line too. And also we are going to create this parameter for them. Select this dimension and turn it into a parameter which we are going to call holder bits. For controlling its length or its height, we also need two other reference plan. One is in this part and another one is going to be here. Make them equal with this door and create another dimension for it which we are going to call holder height. Let's go to ref level and create another reference plan in here. Turn it into yellow. I think this is also hard to see much better. So after you create this, select one of these reference plan in edge of your door and turn it into interior. Now create another extrusion. Set your work plan on this interior part. Select the rectangle and create one in this part. Don't forget to lock all of these lines with these reference plans. Hit finish. Now if you want to control its thickness, you just need to go to right view. In here, click align and set this reference line with this line. Lock it and then create a dimension for it and turn it into a parameter. So next thing we need to do is to copy this for the other side as well. Go to front view and copy all of these reference plans and these dimension and also this extrusion to this part. You just need to mirror it with this line. Select them and click on this mirror. Draw a line on this reference plan and all of them will be in this part. Let's go to 3D view and see if they are working. Change this one to 2, thickness to 5. Only this is working, we need to fix this part. And change its width to, let's say, one okay so if you want to fix this thickness just go back to right view again and use a line to lock this line with this part like this now go back there and change it to let's say to apply and you can see that both of them are working properly in this part, if you want, you can just simply add holes for these parts and also you can add bolts. But as I said, I'm going to keep this very simple. It's very easy if you want to do them. Just select these, go to edit extrusion and create some reference plans in wherever you want to create your bolt or your hole. And then just simply draw one of these circles if you want to create hole or Create another extrusion and add your bolts to these parts to both of them. So it's pretty simple. Save this family as your door and again delete all inactive views. Now it's time for roller. So as I said roller is a piece that keeps your door rolling on this rail and it's a very important part. Go to file and create another family in generic model. Go to left view and just simply create a reference plan in here. Now go to create and select revolve. Draw your axis line on this reference plan and then simply select boundary line and create a very simple shape like this very simple like a roller trim this part with this line and if you want to keep all of these equal you can just simply draw reference plans in here 
and also in this part another one in here and in here select a line and lock these lines with this reference line I'm going to create a dimension for this part and also I'm going to create another reference plan for this part because I want it to be the distance I want it to have a hole in its center so I'm going to keep this part empty align this line with here okay and also I'm going to create this dimension here to keep all of these parts equal use dimension to measure this part let's call it roller width create another one from this point to here let's call it roller length for example okay now you can hit finish go to 3d view and this is our very very simple roller select it and create a parameter for its material let's check if it's working properly so go to family type and change roller length to let's say 30 centimeter okay and its width to one it's working properly and save this family to close inactive views and now i think we have all of the necessary parts so go to file and finally create a new family in this door category okay since our door is in interior side and it has no frames we are going to delete this part and also this part let's go to interior side and see what we have here i'm going to change the color of my wall real quick okay and now let's start with importing our support and rail click on this load into project and select this family number four go to interior and put it in this part now if you want to control its height with this line you just need to simply create a new reference plan create one in this part and also another one in here i'm going to talk about this later so create a dimension from this reference plan to this ref level here select it and create a new parameter for it let's call it rail height use a line to lock this reference plan with this railing line here don't forget to lock and also lock this line with this reference plan now we are going to control our railing from this part so create another dimension between these two reference lines and turn it into a parameter let's call it rail extension okay one thing we need to do is to import all of these parameters in this part its material and also all of these to this family because ultimately this final family number four is going to be our final family and we need all of these parameters here so let's start with this one it was rail material so i'm going to call it rail it doesn't matter if you have created these before for rail distance we need to create another one i'm going to just simply create all of these parameters again with their name just to have them in this family too now if you go to family type in here you will see that all of those parameters are in here too close inactive views and let's import our roller first go to its family and load it into family number four let's move it closer 
here and go to ref level change it to wireframe first we want to put it in exactly this place so if you want to locate it in here we need two different reference plan first we are going to create one in this part and then i'm going to create another one in here and now i'm going to align this part with this strong reference level that i had created and again this part with here lock it and also i need to lock this reference plan with a strong reference plan in this part we had one in here we had another one here and also one in center but we don't have it in this part so one thing we need to do is to go to its family and to left view select it again and go to edit removal now just simply select all of these everything that you can see in here and mirror it without copy to this part okay is our strong reference plan and also this is our strong reference plan okay now you can hit finish and load it again go to left view and if you want to align this line with this part you can see that it's a, a strong reference plan and in this part we don't have them so click on here lock it and again click on this part and lock it with this center line again okay now if you want to make all of these parts realistic and make them fit together go to family type and change the thickness the width of this rail here i'm going to change it to two okay i think it's enough let's go to interior side and as you can see it is a bit large for here so select it and change it to let's say five centimeter let's import our door go to its family and load it into your project locate it in this part First, we are going to set its location from this left view here. Basically, we need this to be in this part. Okay, somewhere in here is so good for it. First, we need its holder to be a bit larger. So let's go with 30 centimeter. This way we can move it to this part too. Create a reference plan with orange color in exactly this part i'm going to align it with this strong reference in this center okay and also i need a very strong reference plan in this part too so let's go back to its family front view here and create another reference plan in this part make it exactly between these two lines and turn it into a, a strong reference let's use orange for it okay now if we load this again we can align this line with this reference plan in here too and if you are asking how we can change its height you can just simply select it and go to its edit type in here door height change it to 2.2 it will change from this part go to create and create another reference plan in here change it to orange and align it with this part and also align this reference plan with this part too, and lock it now if you want to fix and fit all of these parts, select it and go to its edit type. In here, change this holder to 35. Now let's go to interior and fix its look with this side as well. Create a reference plan with blue in here and lock this 
reference plan be this line here and also lock it with this line here too we need another one of these rollers in this part too so create another reference plan in this part and align it with this strong reference line here copy it on itself and move it to this part and again align it with this reference plan here and lock it now if we move these two reference plans your door will move on this rail smoothly and also we need all of these permits to as we did for rail and we forgot to do for this roller you know how to do this so i'm not going to repeat it now our final section to move this door and open it or close it i'm going to link these two reference plans together like this and now if i move one of them one of these reference plans the other one and all of these both of these rollers will move so if i simply create a dimension from this reference plan to this part and turn it into a parameter which we are going to call opening we can control the movement of this door with only changing this parameter so if we want to close it we just need to change this opening to zero okay and if you want to open it we can put it on maybe one like this this is perfect let's look at it from 3d view if you want to kind of close it change it to 50 centimeter and if you want to close it completely just put it on zero look at it from the other side it's completely closed if you want to open it go to if you want to be open it more put it on one completely open 1.2 okay you just need to enter the width of your door to this opening part so it will open completely so yes this is our sliding door as i said if you want you can add multiple things in here you can design your door you can add details in all of these parts now that you learn how you can do this you can add lots of things you can add handles if you want i didn't do it because if you can do all of these you can add a very simple handle too so don't forget to try it and if you have any comments or questions leave them in comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.